he say he's police, he's an officer. Uh -huh. He called my house, he locked to my wife. He just walked in your house? Yes, yeah. he walked to my yeah, house and he here. locked to my he wife. Uh, and she was being very belligerent and I wanted to keep her away, I put her in cuffs. I so called. you put handcuffs on somebody? Yes, I did. Because you were upset with her? He come my house, he locked my wife. What? He come my house, he locked to my wife. Who? Okay, this guy. Okay. Over there. Who is, who is he? This guy. Come here. Come, come here. So that's all my hand right now. That's so hot. Ow. Yeah, they're not comfortable. Hold on, let me get them off. Ow. Ow. Oh. If you stop moving, I'll get them off. If you move, it's gonna be harder. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. I don't do anything. Why are you doing it to me? Relax. I'm going to talk to you in a minute. Okay. Oh, 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 he Hello, said he the bullets. I'm so scared. He said what? He said he the bullets. Yeah. He called my house. He said he the bullets. He the officer. Uh -huh. He called my house. He locked to my wife. He just walked in your house. Yes. Yeah. He walked to my yeah, house and he locked to my wife. He locked her. You know. And he got a gun I, I too. Say, yeah, I know. He got a gun too. I'm scared. Okay. What were you doing? Why would he do that? I don't, don't know. He just sit here yeah, and he yeah, tell he my wife come out and he locked my wife. Too many times already. He too many times already. Not one time. He signed it, you know. Yeah. He come to my house, lock to my wife. Are you guys Vietnamese? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we are Vietnamese here. <coughs> he don't let me. We we are stay here. What's going on with him? I don't know. Yeah. Too many times. Too many times. You see the music? That too loud. Okay. You see the music? Don't 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 win. I'll be fifty one. Don't worry. And he got the gun That's the music. Come to my house right here. Hey, I'm going to have a deputy that speaks Vietnamese come that okay. way. This makes more okay. sense because I'm having a hard time following your broken English. I need you to help me, sir. Okay. I give a wave. I give a wave. I give a wave. All right. I want to be in my brain Um, They started an uprising with the music being very loud, very, very boisterous. I told them, I said, please put, turn it down. Uh, the guy right there in the jeans who was talking to the other officer, he, uh, he hit me. And, and who, she who was, was that hit you? pardon me? Who was that, that hit you? The gentleman right there in front of the other light. The one that's lighting yeah. a cigarette? Uh, okay. He hit me and, and she was being very belligerent and I wanted to keep her away, I put her in cuffs. I'm a former officer up in New York, and I'm just upset with her. I so told you put handcuffs on somebody? Yes, I did. Because you were upset with her? Well, no, because I'm tired of the bullshit, plus he hit me. I know it's probably what, wrong. What did she have anything to do with that? She was getting in my face. Okay. What's your full legal name, sir? John. Is it Timothy? John or Jonathan? John. Timothy? Switzer. Put me in cuffs too. I want to go to jail. No, I'm good. I know I, it, it was probably wrong for me to do it, but they're belligerent. They're drunk on their ass. All the beer, beer uh, okay. containers are in the back of their vehicle okay. that they drank tonight. And, uh, so Specifically, as far as the gentleman that hit you, what happened with that? Well, he just gave me a big slap. I mean, I mean, a real hard, yeah, open hand on, on my shoulder, which hit hit me up in the jaw. Okay, when he, you went over there to tell them to turn the music yeah, he down. Yeah, So, what are you wanting to do as far as that? Nothing. I, I I just want them to turn the music down. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Did right. you have, guys have to come out? And you're it. Lot 270, which is over here. Right there. Okay. Can everybody just have a seat? Just sit, please. 
I'm having a hard time understanding, so I'm waiting for Tuan to get here because it's all very broken. They're all Is just it? repeating the same Vietnamese? thing. Vietnamese? Yes. Okay. They said they were here okay. playing loud music and this guy just came over and do put you have, on her. Do you have your ID? Oh, yes, ma'am. And do you have your ID? Yeah. Can you, can you get them? Can you get your identification for us? Yeah. What is this guy saying? Um, he is evidently a prior law enforcement. He came over here to ask them to turn the music down. No. The guy that had the jeans hit him, and she was talking too loudly, so he decided to handcuff her. So, obviously, yes, that's where I'm going to go, but I need him to clarify language why he doesn't want to. Yeah. Just want to press charges, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, are you armed right now? No, I'm not. Okay, thank you. Everything is in the house. No, you're not set. Hey, just me. Um, kind of need to stay away. Did I fuck up or what? She's the case agent, so she's going to talk to you. I think they're waiting to have a deputy speak speed me come and interview everybody prior to yes. us. No know. problem. It, uh, it just drives me nuts. I mean... What, the music? Oh, yeah. I mean... Why didn't you just call us and we can come tell you them know to what? turn it down? It's you that guys, simple. You guys come... They turn it down, you leave, they turn it back up. Gotcha. And he, she's grabbing her identification. He uh he's always been wanting to fight me. Who? The Asian guy sitting down or smoking a cigarette. Okay. Okay, he's always wanting to just like he comes over, you know, and asks for advice and stuff and which and one do you live in? I live right over there. This end one with the truck? Yes, sir. So, I mean, I've done a lot of work with, with Pernos County. I mean, I know Bob real well. Not that it matters. You like working the midnight shift? I've been working it for almost seven years. Really? So, yeah. How many years have you been, been on? Almost seven years. Really? Yeah, the... Uh, I spent 25 in New York. What part of New York? Uh, actually, inside the city, uh, uh, part of the 2-2, which is Central Park area. And uh, and after 9-11, I had to go from 1976 to... And then moved to Florida? Sunny Florida? Tired of the cold? No, it wasn't that. It's just that I needed to get away because my brain was... I worked like 80 hours at the Trade Center. Gotcha. I had a, a friend of mine that uh, that died, his mom died two weeks prior, and he had a tattoo of, on his hand that says "I love you, mom." And when we were crawling in there and everything, that's all we found: his arm from here down. Sorry to hear that. Uh, very sickening. And that was one of the main reasons why I said. Anyway, is there there must be like a lot of Vietnamese people in this oh, yeah. trailer park? Yeah, seems like this uh, this guy here is probably as well. And yeah, um, there were, they used to live on the N one over there, mm -hmm. and then they bought this one. Is um, it all like a? Is everybody does everybody know each other or what? I keep to myself. I don't let a whole lot of things bother me, except when they push the button too far and it drives you nuts. Sure. I'm sorry. I, it, but at least you got nice cruises to go in. Oh, those are nice. So what's going to be my option? I don't know yet. I haven't really, I didn't hear anything you said. She's talking to these people. Like I said, she's the case agent. I'm here for officer safety. 
she's gonna come over and talk to you. You know, you can only have so many times people please put music down. Have you complained to the park management? They know very no well. she knows very well about that. Uh, but you know Usually what you have to do for something to get done is find several neighbors that are like-minded and you sign a paper and you send it in. Yeah, a lot of people don't want to get involved. And it's like, you know, I just can't stand the boom, boom, boom. boom. I mean, yeah. this gentleman here, he speaks uh, Spanish, you know. You know, and I don't understand Spanish a whole lot. Do you mind if I go in to grab a mint real quick? In the house? Yeah. No. Okay. Can't go in the house. Can I talk to you for a minute? Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay. So, tell me what happened when he came over. Okay. When he came over to my house. And I sit down to next door to neighbor, and I saw him step into my house. I say something, maybe something wrong, because too many times. Wait, 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 wait. He went inside your house? No, and right there. Okay. Uh huh. He said he called my husband come over, because my husband he went I don't want. He came right over. I said, Daddy, you have to stay there. Let me take care of. And. Uh, he say he want to rape my husband. I say no, my husband inside to my house. What happened? You have to talk to me, please. He say he want to rape me. Okay, I say right, why? Right. Hold, hold on, hold okay. on just a second. Okay. Hello. Hi. Did you see everything that happened? Yeah. Okay. Do you have your ID? I can just get your information. Okay, um, hold on just one second while you're looking for that. Let me explain something to him. So the red shirt is, if she wants to pursue charges, going to be, I believe, a victim of false imprisonment. Um, basically, this guy that's down here is a prior law enforcement officer, and apparently he came over to tell them to turn, up, turn down the music. There was an argument. And he said that she wouldn't stop arguing with him, so he put her in handcuffs. Oh, yeah. What, what, um, where is this? But it, th this is uh, down there talking to him. Um, like, I, I can get some of it, but then like the English starts to go a little off. So um, I'm just trying to clarify all of the details. She was just trying to explain it to me, but I'm not understanding some of the words that she's saying. Story yeah, so she's she's potential victim. This is her husband with the jeans, the one that's closer to the trailer. Um, and supposedly during all of this, at some point he hit this guy, but I'm not clear as to. I've gotten details from them because of the, the language issues, and then all of these other people are all witnesses. So I need to start with her. So, ma'am. So I'm just trying to clarify the details of what happened when he came over and was yelling at her about the music. Something about her husband. And I think what she's saying is that he was going to wreck her. Maybe he was going to hit her. I'm not understanding what that word is. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. À, cảm ơn là Thượng, à, để như muốn giải thích uh, cái câu chuyện giúp uh, con này giải thích uh, câu okay. chuyện bữa nay bị gì tại sao từ, từ đầu tới cuối nha Ok, à, chị thì chị ở bên nhà của con bé bên kia tại đi làm về đó hàng xóm đó uh -huh. Thì chị ngồi hai chị em nói chuyện với nhau Chị ở đó hả? Không, chị ở đây ở Nhưng mà hàng xóm anh em ngồi ở đây thì ở đây nhưng okay. mà chị là ok em út đi làm về cực khổ uh -huh. Thì nó mời qua ăn cơm thì chị không có ăn, chị ngồi nói chuyện nó thì chị thấy ông mở cửa Ông, 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 à, cái ông đó đó, ông mở ừ. cửa mà ông cầm cây súng Dưới cây còng qua nữa, chị thấy gì sợ quá, ủa chuyện ông gì vậy cây súng, để, để. cây súng nữa em Ở đâu? Nà, để bên à, không, là... không, ông cầm, ông đi về nè với lại cây còng okay. Thì à, ông mắt chồng của chị ra, tại vì chồng của chị uống bia okay. Khi mà chị chạy theo, chị thấy chồng chị uống bia, chị muốn ém đi cho bồ ừ. 
Sao gặp chị nói đấy thì cứ ngồi đó để em thấy khe. Đợi đợi chút nha. À, lúc à. mà chị xuống thấy màu gì vậy? À màu đen em. Đen, nhỏ hay lợi của vậy? À hình như là nó cũng cỡ uh, dài ba dài vậy. Đợi dạ. chút nha. Um, so I'm not sure you know this part of the story, but supposedly, you know, they were out there. The initial noise playing. He came over with a gun and a handcuff on his body, saying, "As he's walking, that's right." So far, he had the gun in his hand. Yeah, as he's walking like this with a gun out. Okay. Yeah, I just want to. I wasn't sure you know that part. No, I okay. didn't. Okay. 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 So, so he had the gun. Did he point the gun at her? No, no, I no, no. Put you, chị. No, no, put the gun, you, chị. Nhưng mà nó nói là nó là cảnh sát. Nó muốn bắt ai? Any time nó được quyền bắt uh -huh. thì chị mới hỏi ổng chứ chị làm cái gì sai uh -huh. mà ổng đòi còng chị uh -huh. thì ổng nói một câu tại vì ổng là cảnh sát music của mày làm cho tao không có feel accountable uh -huh. rồi cái ổng nói mày put your hand out còng là ổng còng chị uh -huh. thì lúc đó thì ok ổng còng chị xíu quá chị đau chị không biết làm sao ông chồng chị nói giận lắm chị nói đấy đi anh cứ ngồi im đó cho em ở Mỹ đi có luật pháp ok em gọi điện thoại là nó lợi nó hép liền anh không cần ra tay thì chồng chị thấy chị đau quá chị ghen thì thì thằng chồng của chị thật sự có nói lợi xô ổng đi ra khỏi pháp cho tiền của chị rồi ổng thấy vậy ổng mới nói ok xăm hia ổng mở cổng ra cho chị chị nói không mày đã làm rồi thì ok để tao muốn người khác đến đây để cho tao biết là mày đối xử với người Việt Nam của tao là như vậy Cô tên là Uyên Thị Ái Nguyễn. À, muốn, à, muốn gọi cô lời, còn không muốn còn gọi tên tên gì? Thì à, là... cô Uyên. Uyên, ok. Yes. Cô Uyên. À, lúc mà cái anh đó, hôm qua đó, lúc mà anh muốn cầm cô đó, cô nói, cô, tự nhiên cô ấm cầm vậy thôi. Dạ, ông nói tao là owner của cái nhà này, mày cần tao hét cái gì của mày? Uh -huh. Tao mày cần tao hét cái gì? Ông nói là music chu lao. Thì chị chưa có kịp thơn cái music, em hỏi cái speaker đó có cái gì đâu. Mà chị nghe là thấy ok romantic, okay. em hiểu không? Dạ. Yeah rồi ổng hỏi cái nhà này có ai chị nói là của chị ừ. thì ổng là ổng còng chị thôi tự nhiên vô còng thì không có đâu yes. chứ nhỉ yes yes um, so, mà nhưng mà cái súng nó không có không chỉ vô không có chỉ, à, không có chỉ vô ai hết trơn ổng nói là ổng là ok à à à à uh, officer ok officer ok ổng chỉ có nói vậy đó rồi ổng còng chị xong xuôi rồi ổng mới đi về nhà của ổng okay. rồi ổng chở qua lại ổng kêu đưa đây tao mở tay mà lại nó không Ông công rồi bỏ đi xong xuống vô nhà ổng rồi ổng chở ra là ổng nói là tao mở ra cho mày chị nói là no. Oh okay. Um so this will be a lot that's why I'm gonna translate halfway every time. But um didn't the gun was not pointed but when he showed up their house on their property he's saying that um I'm I used to be an officer, I can arrest you anytime you want. Um your music was being loud and stuff like that. So he did. He did clarify that he used to be. He didn't identify himself as. Nó là hiện giờ đang là cảnh sát hay là hồi xưa? Nó nói là nó là cảnh sát. Hiện giờ. Yes. Oh, right now. Okay. So he said that he is an officer. Yeah. Hiện giờ đang là cảnh sát. Yeah. Nó show cho chị cái thẻ rất là nhiều lần lắm rồi. Oh, and show her an ID apparently. Yes. Okay. So he identified himself as law enforcement. Uh-huh. And showed her an ID. Showed her an ID. And then handcuffed her. Rất là nhiều lần. And just just to clarify, he did say I am. Yes. Not I was. No, I am officer. Okay. And showed the ID. Mm -hmm. Had a had a gun in his hand. On the side, never pointed it. Was it on in a holster or? Uh, no, right in here. Hand? Right here in the hand. In hand. Yes. Okay. And he had an ID. And yes. Showed you like like a badge. Yes. Uh, yes. Like this. Okay. Yeah. No, not like this, ma'am. I'm sorry. Different shape, but bad. Yeah, this one. 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 Arrest là chị không biết nhưng mà ổng ổng công chị. Là arrest là cái gì chị không biết. She doesn't know what arrest means, but then he just handcuffed her. That's what he told her in English. What she just said to you. What happened between her and her, or between him and her husband? Yeah, so I just got to that part. So far, um, when he was, when she was handcuffed and the handcuff was hurting her hand and she's you know, she's yelling. Her husband wanted to step in. She told her husband, no, don't. This we live in America. The law enforcement called them. They'll come and you know help us. So sounds like that's the second very caller. Um, and then I guess he he left, went back to his house, and came back and said, "I'm gonna un uncuff you." Uh, she's like, "No, I don't want to be uncuffed. If you're gonna do this to me now, I want law enforcement to come and see this." That's what he just did. 
okay. that's so far. Was but, there any confrontation between yeah, so her he, husband and him? Uh, Did so anybody hit each other? Why don't you? Không, 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 không. Chị gì chỉ có để hay chờ tại vì lúc đó chị gọi là à nay quanh quanh khám tôi hết thì ôm rồi. Ai đâu quanh. Dạ. Chị ổng ra là kêu ổng đi chỗ khác tại lúc đó ổng làm hung dữ với chị quá. So he was being like he seems like being aggressive towards her so he should push him off probably I'm waiting for long for get out my car. So that was after she was put in handcuffs. Yeah, that was after. Okay. She was on her like in pain so by that. Does she want to press charges against him? Uh lúc mà they explain, make sure she understands that what he did was illegal, that he is not an officer and he cannot do that, and does she want to press charges? Okay, anh nói đó là không phải cảnh sát. Okay, cái đó cái 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 chuyện mà anh nói làm đó là không có đúng. Okay, cái này là cô cô bị cộng á là không phải, không có đúng. Cô muốn anh nó đi tù không? Yes. Yeah, you have to do the law. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you have to do the law, please. Okay. I have, uh, hai, bốn, uh, sáu, bảy người chị làm chứng cho chị. I need to talk to her husband. Yes. Uh, muốn, yeah. Muốn nói chuyện với chồng một con. Yeah. Just tell them to come over here. Wait. Lại đây nói chuyện chứ. Hold on, hold on. Chồng của chị ngồi kia. Hold on. Tất cả. Đây là cái xanh qua đời em. Hold on. Where is this? Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to clarify some details with you. Yeah. So before I clarify those details, let me go ahead and read something to you. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, we will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. You understand each of the rights I've explained to you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Obviously, you've been talking with this other deputy over here. Uh, have you previously requested to speak with a attorney? Uh, no, just okay. wanted to see so how far having, it goes. Having the rights in mind, do you want to clarify some details for me real quick? Absolutely. Okay. So, when you first went over there, did you identify yourself as a law enforcement officer and have a badge and gun in your possession? That they you know that I am. That you are a law enforcement yes, officer? Yes, ma'am. Former law enforcement officer. Okay, there's a big difference. Well, yes, and yes, I agree. I so, did, did you specifically say, I am a police officer? Not to them, no. Okay, did you Because have a, I am not. Did you have a badge that you showed to them? No, I have not. Okay, did you have a gun in your hand that you were... No, ma'am, I have not. So you did not have a gun? No, ma'am, I have my cell phone. Okay, and what specifically was said when you made contact with them about the music? I asked them, please, to turn it down. Okay. Because it's been going on long enough. Okay. Every night, it's the same thing. They play the music so loud, I'm sitting in my easy chair, trying to listen to TV, and all I hear is boom, 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 boom. Okay. Normally it's this gentleman, but he seems to get, finally got the picture. They move from over on the other side of me to here. And I've asked them if... Do you remember specifically what words you used when you asked them to turn the music down? I said, no, I just said, could you please turn the music down? Okay, and what was their response? And who, who were you talking to when you said that? Kind of, kind of the general group. And okay. the oriental gentleman with in the blue jeans that was smoking the cigarette okay. quite a bit. And the lady in the red shirt. Okay, so you said, can you please turn the music down? And what was their response? Pardon me? What was their response to you? They, they, she came running up from somewhere, I don't know where, behind me. And um, she said that, uh, we'll turn it down, we'll turn it down. But it never happened. Okay. And that's where I kind of snapped. And it's my fault. You know, I agree, it's my fault. Totally. But I know there is a huge language barrier. But in the same token, they should have enough common sense to please keep the music down. So at what point did you decide to put her in handcuffs? When 
her husband, ex-husband, slash whatever, was hit me, hit me in the shoulder, and it went, went up into my jaw. Um, and then she started to get boisterous and get upset. That's when I did. Okay. Was there some sort of threat? Was she striking you? Was she? No, she was not. She but was just I could talking tell, loudly. Talking very. They're they're all drunk. They're, okay, so they, she she was just talking, and what very, made you very loud? If, if he was the one that was causing violence to you, threatening you, whatever you perceived the situation to be. Yes, ma'am. Why did you handcuff her? She was being very belligerent, and I figured she was the biggest threat I had. Okay, so you said you had your cell phone in your hand. Yes, ma'am. Did you ever think about dialing 911 to I, allow us the opportunity I, 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 to deal I, I, with this instead I was of... On, I was on the phone with uh, dispatch at the time to get, you know... At the time that you placed her in handcuffs? No, at, uh, before. Okay. So that's what I'm asking you is if you had your cell phone in your hand and that's what you were holding, why not just call 911 instead of putting her in handcuffs it because was she fault. was being boisterous? My bad. I, I agree. I, I, could have, I could have used the situation better. Okay. All right. Go ahead and stand up for me. I'm going, to, I'm going for a ride. Yes, sir. Can I lock my door? I'll yeah, let we'll you do that in a minute. Stand up. Absolutely. Do you have the house keys on you? No. Um, he just dropped the house key on the No, ground. those are handcuff keys. If you mm -hmm. go to... Um, uh, through the door, uh -huh. through the right, uh, if you look on top of the dishwasher, right above it, there is um, a set of keys. Okay. It should be right on the very last one. Okay. Lily, do you want um, the handcuffs that are on the hood of my car yes. for anything? Okay. Are you going to take them as evidence or yep. you want? Okay. All right. All right. There's nobody else in here, no dogs, nothing? Kind of got it in a little. Just check my arm if you would. You just need help sitting back up. Ow, the cuffs are really digging into me. Okay, if you if you turn, sir, yes. sit up and turn your chest towards me and put your hands towards the other door so you're not leaning on them. That's part of the problem is that you're leaning back on them. Okay, I'm good now. You I'm good? Very, I'm very good now. Okay. Thank you. All right. And just to clarify, what agency are you prior law enforcement with? New York. New York. State. The state of New York. The city. Of the city cop. NYPD? NYPD. Okay. And what year did you retire from there? 2001. Do you have like a retired police officer ID or anything? Uh, yes, I do. It's in my wallet, which is okay. in the house. Okay. But that wasn't shown to them at any point? No, ma'am. Okay. And the badge that you have on the holster right by the door that says Florida Investigator Sergeant, where did that come from? I was from? a private investigator at one time. A Down private here. investigator. Yeah. Okay. But not law enforcement? No. Okay. How many years did you work for NYPD? 25. Okay. I can't, well, let's put it this way. Under one name, I was one. I did a lot of undercover work, too. Um, so I had one or two aliases. So, but that's my real name right there. John Switzer. Okay. But you were a sworn police officer with yes, the New York City Police yes, Department. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you.